anything good about the about the arcade machine so now i gotta play myself <laughs> one player look 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 take all my money i It's a cool song, I guess. Yeah. It's a nice guitar riff. Is that the drums coming in for the solo right here? It's not really a solo, but it's still get down. I'm not dancing to this theme song no more. Look at my fucking headphones, bro. I didn't mean to actually throw them. You saw me trying to hold on. God. Bro, how am I supposed to record in these? Danganronpa. What? Good show, welcome back. Hey, to some more Danganronpa. This don't even feel right today. Good thing y'all can't see it. Golly, that look f***ed up. Ding dong, bing bong, who is that? R2D2 language, huh? All right. That's right, we were waking up to a, a glorious <laughs> announcement. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Who's on the committee? You need, <laughs> who are the members? Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day. Y'all did not need to set a 7 a.m. meeting just to say good morning to me. That's how all them school meetings used to be back when I was in college. Early morning to figure out what niggas want to eat for lunch during the event. Like, eat sandwich! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Somebody gonna die today. Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly. Like the night got skipped or something. That explains why... I feel so tired, but I'm hungry, so I should go to the restaurant and eat something. I'm gone, and it's still not free time. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, and I'm pissed because people like this need their names to be shouted out. Somebody told me that if I go into my Tamagotchi, there's a button for clean, and that should clean off the dog poop. Let's go check real quick. Now if, if I have been trying it, and it's just to clean up the actual poop, See, look, I'm pushing space. That's to get rid of the poop, bro. Maybe if I spam space. I got them. Stay back. Do not speak to me, human. Whoa, what the heck? How pitiful. The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Kuya and Teru Teru. Are they destined to be cradled against the heaven, heavenly mother's bosom? or to burn in the fires of Gienna. Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. Let me think about this, bro. Teru Teru died of remorseful death. Maybe he repented. He's probably, he's probably in heaven, right? And who died, Kuya? Nah, they up in heaven, up, up against uh, heaven's bosoms. <laughs> now then. No, I shall take my leave. Why did you laugh about it, Gundam? That guy's the same as usual. All right, no, no worries there. I'm gonna look around if nobody's outside. F All right, let's go talk to him. Everybody's been saying that they hate my Sonya Nevermind voice. Since when? <laughs> I don't have any other voices, so deal with it. Oh, I feel such nostalgia for the. Okay, I I'm not gonna lie. It is ass. It is ass. It's ass. I'm trying. I feel such nostalgia for the Japanese dishes my servant used to prepare. Her servant must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. However, an army marches its, with its stomachs. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just try different things, bro. She just got her own shit going, bro. She's a, she's a multicultural princess. She knows different accents, different languages. She can switch up whenever she wants. That being said, let us have breakfast. There we go. More like Princess Peach, you know, Ibuki. Good nom nom nomming! Good morning! Meow! Do you know how many-
many O's I used? Who knows? Oh there! Your cool demeanor gives me the shivers! But you should talk about it more, you know? Shoot, shoot me with your word arrows! Thinking about Kuya made me feel really sad. So I'm trying super hard to stay upbeat! About Kuya? That's right! He may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome! It sounds easy to keep a promise till the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But, oh, but to actually die like that. If only he didn't have piggy fingers. Darn, that's so disappointing. <laughs> now then, I'm off to the restaurant. Adieu. You didn't have to say the last bit. I know, right? Fat shame and ugly ass rocker, no hit, no hit single bitch. Good morning, Nikamaru. <laughs> Bro had coffee and oatmeal this morning. Whoa. What, what is it, Hajime? Do you need to talk to me about something? What, what's wrong? What are you so surprised about? <laughs> uh, uh, no need to worry. I'll head to the restaurant first. <laughs> is it just my imagination or does he seem weirder than usual everybody do loki but no matter let's let's see what's up inside hotel lobby all right there go my favorite girl yeah y'all know why yo hajime yeah good morning Man, I'm starving. Let's hurry the hell up and get some food. Hmm. It's not that the restaurant has bad food, but compared to Teru Teru's food, it's pretty so-so. <gasps> Those party dishes, they were seriously so good. It was like I could eat as much as I wanted. Hmm. I wanted to keep eating his food. I know. That's weird. God. Grieving like this isn't even isn't like me. I'm probably acting strange because I'm so hungry. Alright! Alright. All I gotta do is eat. Wow. Mm -hmm. Just stuff her face. Ease that pain. We all do it. You're not going to the restaurant, my oh, you're not going to the restaurant, my hero? Oh, she's so sad. Uh, sorry. I was just thinking about Teru Teru. What's going on? I know Monokuma said Teru Teru's motive was boring. That's impossible! But, but that wasn't boring at all. I mean, it's your mom. She's like your most important family member, you know? Yeah, I agree. Of course, that doesn't mean I can accept what Teru Teru did either. But... But... But still, if... My family... I'm sorry. It's nothing. Even though I think what Teru Teru did was stupid, it'd be bad if I allowed Monokuma to influence me too. Obviously. That's right. I'm never gonna follow Monokuma's orders. Never! There you go, girl. Hi, Chiaki. Hey. Uh, good morning. You're playing video games again this morning? Yo, Spike, don't put quotations around again like niggas aren't playing your video game right now, bro. Hmm. It's like whenever you find a time, you always come here, don't you, Chiaki? You think so? Yeah. Hey. I know you like video games, but if you don't get out in the sun more, you'll get sick. Is that true? Come on. And you know, it's important to get to, get to know the others better, too. Hmm. I don't know about that. I got my Fortnite crew. Hey, hey! I got my squad. So let's play games outside. I'm sure they have stuff like jump rope and bamboo copter at the supermarket. Huh? Jump rope? Bamboo boo boo boo? You said no. Hmm. Are those games too? I don't get it. Come on! And then you can play with us after breakfast. Good deed should be should uh, be done quickly, as they say. Are you saying I have to join you too? Jeez. What's with that tone? If you don't want to come, you don't have to. 
Seriously, she's so bossy towards guys. Well, look at her tie. You know why. Mm. Jump rope? Bamboo copter? The world is still overflowing with strange things. Let's go up the stairs and see who's all up here, bro. We don't even have a chef. We eating. We eating Denny's right now compared to our delicious IHOP. Hmm. Hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? That stuff he said about the traitor in, in World Ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I suddenly find out anything. What's going on? Well, that's obvious. The same goes for me too. Honestly. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. But... But... I wonder if it's really true. Th that there's a traitor among us. No! No need to worry. You don't have to worry about that traitor at all. I can't really see with this. However... If by chance, a worst case scenario... IMPOSSIBLE! Even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. That's weird. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about it. BEHOLD! Of course! In fact, that so-called traitor is tied up at the moment and can't move at all. What did you do, Nikamaru? Huh? It cannot be! Tied up, you say? She's actually the only girly voice that I have here. Um, could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? <laughs> Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Every time this dude talk, I know his stomach is BG. He's got BGs, bro. W what about that other part? Where you said he was tied up and can't move. Oh, crap! <laughs> hey! Kazuchi! What should we do? Hey! Dumbass, don't roll me into this! They'll find out we work together to- Ah, <laughs> oh, crap! <laughs> you guys are both idiots! You. Hey. What does this mean? I mean... Well, you know... <sighs> there's no way we can let him run around free! I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Mm. Teru Teru committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? <laughs> so that makes him a killer too! It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. Honestly. So that's why you left him tied up? However... That cannot be helped. He is quite dangerous. Um, How should I put this? He's a little creepy. Uh, not that I want to badmouth him. God, me, girl. Say... He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high, he could sell tickets to see it. Good instincts. <laughs> That's truly a nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There is no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. Fall my tears. What they like and what they hate. Did he just say fall my tears? <laughs> what makes them happy? What makes them angry? It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. How pitiful. Establishing a real a relationship with such a human is impossible. Hey! You should be careful. You're teetering on the edge yourself. And? Anyway, where did you two tie, tie up Nagato? Uh. The, the dining hall. In the uh, old hotel building. That's where Kuya got killed. Mmm. He needs to reflect on what he did at that place. <laughs> so you're saying it's better to kill off a troublesome ally before they turn into an enemy. <laughs> uh, you killed him? <laughs> He's obviously alive. 
I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. Then... Then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Hmm... It's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. <laughs> so, um, so isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. Yeah, that's why her body looks incredible. That's why you look like a fucking twig, Makoto, because you eat pasta and yogurt for dinner. See, I see. If so, it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. Ah. I, I, I know that already. Aww. Jeez, I didn't expect you two would do something like that. <laughs> I wish you treat it more like an achievement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. <laughs> oh, is that my, yeah, him. Who are you calling tiny boy? Oh. <laughs> You're here? Jeez. It figures. You guys are messed up. I get it. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them? Look at you sheep acting all righteous. Huh? What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh? Did the shitty sheep all bleed at me? What did you say? It looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Bastard! Try it if you dare, bastard. Shut up! Shut up! Y y you can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You, you're just a pipsqueak without that Kuzuryu clan backing you up. What'd you say? What, what did you just say? Just stop. Enough. Knock it off, you two. He like... Motherfucker, I can't wait till I see you after this fucking weak-ass breakfast. I'm gonna take you to the back and fucking choke out my motherfucking Todd. You, you bastards. I'll make sure you regret that later. Huh? What, what the heck? He's, he's just a whiny loser. Um... Kazuchi, let us just stop this already. Aww. Jeez, all this fighting. I can tell it's not going to be easy in the future. <laughs> the, the future, huh? I wonder if we even have a future. Hey! Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> On top of this island's mysteries, now there's also Nagitsu and Fuyuhiku to deal with. Jeez. It's just one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and then left for our re respective cottages. So what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. I'm going right to the damn grocery store so I can get some poo cleaner from my doggy woggy. Let's go hit that up real quick. Yeah, uh, we on our way. Yeah, uh, we on our way. Uh. All right, y'all. So I learned that there's one once your once your pet hatches in your uh in your device right here from that little egg, it has one of six options, and unfortunately, my option was Shatimi. Um, I have 782 steps left before I get whatever reward that comes with having this kind of dog being taken care of and not dying in its own boo-boo, but hey, you know what? Let's give her a pet just to, you know, give her a little bit more hope. No, she's good. She got a full 10. I'm not gonna waste no, no motherfucking water on her ass. Alright, Rocket Power Market. I mean, Rocket Punch Market. Back to the hotel. Let's find out where the homies is at. Yeah. What's going on? Now, I understand Nagito isn't normal. But trying him, but tying him up and locking him away is such an extreme thing to do. They should really think about the consequences a little more. What should I do? Should I invite my hero to hang out? Of course, bro. Hey. What kind of pet would she want though? Oh, she's thirsty, perfect. You're right. I'm thirsty right now, so I guess you can join me for tea. Uh, I brought my own. I spent time today drinking tea with my hero and discussing various topics. Looks like my hero and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give my hero a present? Absolutely. What would my hero want, y'all? 
chocolate chip jerky, a baguette to go with tea? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's so obvious you're trying to bait me with the item with these items and stuff, but excuse me. I guess I'll take it for now. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, hey! Uh, Hajime, stay there. Right there. Huh? Say cheese! Okay, say yes, cheese! Please. You took it anyway! The shutter just went click. I guess my hero wanted to take a picture of me. <laughs> well, I guess this is good enough. Yep, that sure is a dumb looking face. Dumb looking face? That's only because you took my photo so, so suddenly it didn't let me smile. Just so you know, it's not like I want a picture of you or anything. I swear to every god who's listening that that's true. This is just a record. You you don't have to go that far. Yo, you are like bi you a Gemini, huh? Bipolar, two personalities, don't know who you want to be. Is that a fucking monkey back? Yo, Diddy, Diddy, get off that tree! But what kind of record? Hmm. A record is just a record. I want a record that right now we're all living together in this place. We're living together. It's pretty simple. But in this kind of situation, it's easy for us to forget that, you know? Come on! So I decided to make a record of everyone each day so we won't forget. That's pretty much the only thing I can do right now. I see, that's a good, yo, my country accent is fucking god awful. But, no complaints, it's only been my Sonya Nevermind, so I'm gonna work on it. I seriously wouldn't have thought to do something like that. My hero seems like a pretty solid person. Hmm. But taking pictures of guys isn't fun. So I guess it'll be fine if I only do that every every three days. You're already contradicting what you just said. Well, aren't you commendable? It's so awesome that your priorities are in check. What's going on? What what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Uh Haji, relax. Aww. More importantly, we've got this blue sea and white beach, but that weird stuffed animal just ruins it. No matter how beautiful the scenery is, if the subject's face doesn't stand out... Hey! I, I know. If you ever see Monokuma again... Capture him. I can take pictures of Monami just fine, but he sees what I'm trying to do every time. One day, I'll definitely capture him with my viewfinder, and I'll be world famous for landing such a huge scoop. Hm. Maybe she's like the ultimate journalist or ultimate reporter or something like that. Well then, I'm busy, so I guess I'll, I'll see you later. After controlling so much of the conversation, my hero suddenly changed the subject and walked away. Was she angry or something? Did I say something weird? This is bad. I have no idea what's going on. Give me that fucking hope fragment, dude. Is Shihiro still standing? All right, I should return to my room at once. I guarantee I I couldn't have woke her up. Uh, what's her name? Chiaki standing next to her. It's still bright out. It's not like I feel like staying here and doing nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. You know who I want to talk to, bro? Kazuchi. All right, we made it to the diner. Kazuchi, my boy. Come here, my boy. Hmm. What kind of guys do you think Miss Sonya likes? Do you think she's in the princess? All right, calm down, Aladdin. All right! No, she needs to feel the love of a commoner. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Kazuchi? Absolutely you can, bro. Don't be like that. What? You're rooting for Miss Sonya and me? Hajime! I didn't know you were such an awesome dude. I spent time today listening to Kazuchi fantasize about Sonya. Oh my gosh, bro. Looks like Kazuchi and I grew closer today. You gonna get down there, she, you gonna hit her with them shark teeth, and she gonna bleed all in your mouth. Whoa, bro. What would you like to give him? Braces. Hey, I saw some water, you thirsty nigga. Thirst, thirsty ass boy. Oh, you're gonna give me that? <laughs> it's like whatever, but 
so well, at least it's free. Man, man, why did this happen? We're on a tropical island, you know? Surrounded by a blue sea, you know? And there's plenty of ladies here too. So why do we have to be involved in all this killing nonsense? Although Kazuchi's intentions are probably not pure, I agree with what he's saying. If this was a normal school trip, it would have been really fun. Ah, man. And here I thought I was finally going to go on a school trip for the very first time. First time? Didn't you go on one during middle school or something like that? <laughs> I was supposed to, but I ditched it. I, um, faked being sick and stayed home. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, I had a lot of reasons, but my family is really poor. My classmates were pretty much a bo bunch of boring turds, so I was like, who cares if I don't go to school? Well... But my old man found out later and beat the crap out of me. Well, I mean, obviously a parent would be mad about that, but I sometimes got yelled at for ditching school events during elementary and middle school, so... Hey! My damn old man. He knew better than anyone that we didn't have any money. <laughs> uh, we, we run a bike shop at my place, but it's seriously hard to sell bicycles these days. Put your tongue back in your mouth. You're talking to me, bro. Not Sonya, bro. The only customers we got now just need a flat tire fixed or, or air pumped. <laughs> but yeah, just despite that, I'm the genius mechanic of my family. I can take a look if a bike or car needs fixing, and I can fix anything from kids' toys to household appliances. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Of course. Well, I mean, I've been surrounded by junk and tools ever since I was born. So I just have a habit of taking things apart, putting them back together. And I see. So that's the environment the ultimate mechanic was raised in, huh? Hey. My old man is just a hopeless, though. So I'm always the one who's helping out at the shop. In fact, to tell you the truth, I was really excited when we first arrived at this island. Everyone here is a pretty colorful personality, you know, but they all seem like interesting people. <laughs> I was really looking forward to enjoying my youthful days here. Until all this crap happened. Ah, damn it. It's my dream, you know? I've always wanted to go on a trip with my friends and stuff. Man. Oh, wait. No, we're not close enough yet to call each other friends, huh? Look, I don't know when people suddenly decide they're friends or not, but since we seem to have the same goal, maybe we can at least call each other comrades. Hmm. Comrades, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome! I'm looking forward to working with you, comrade. Kazuchi extended his hand and I gripped it. Tried to let it go, but for some reason, Kazuchi was glaring at me and... <gasps> Oh, bro, he went like this. Pleasure working with you, comrade. So who you gunning for, motherfucker? All right, like, bro, get out my ear with that, bro. What are you talking about? You know, right? Isn't it obvious? I'm talking about the ladies. Okay, bro, because I was about to say, bro. <laughs> it's you, bro. I would never kill, but who am I aiming for? Oh, that's easy. Depending on your answer? The alarm clock in your room may be modified into a time bomb. If you have time to make something like that, you should spend it actually being productive. It's pretty amazing that he's able to think about that kind of stuff at a time like this. It's a Kane. Easily. But despite his looks, Kazuchi seems like a pretty normal guy. I learned a little bit about Kazuchi today. Nice. After Kazuchi was finished hammering me with questions, I was finally released. Alright. We know what time it is, bro. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an an emergency students! Head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Bro, I was getting ready to spam click your ass to get you on my face. Come on, hurry up! Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night! 
I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I Come love. On, hurry the f up. I love curry rice, bro. Especially yellow curry rice. Oh my god, curry rice, huh? It feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know. What is he planning this time around? There's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park again, huh? I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm running there. Got to get my points up. Is everybody outside? Is anybody outside? <gasps> is, is anybody else outside? Huh? 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 Oh, shit. Yo, 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 bro. Yo, yo bro. Yo, bro. Damn hey. it. Hey, bro. Ugh. Why'd I have to listen to that announcement? If only I did listen to it. Then I wouldn't have to respond to that annoying summons. That's impossible. Those speakers are set up throughout the island, you know. Not only that, an excuse like I wasn't paying attention won't work on Monokuma, bro. Hey! Why are you scaring me? Damn it. Oh, damn it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go. So he wanted someone to back him up so he could step forward? I sort of understand how he feels. Who else is here, bro? I see you, Makan. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm such a slowpoke. I'll head over to the park right away. Um. But, but I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my cottage as soon as I heard the announcement. I, I tripped again. I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. People are probably thinking, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. I'm gone, bro. Woo! <laughs> I'm the first one here. The curry's all mine. She totally took the bait. Oh, indeed. I wonder what kind of curry it is. Okay, okay, I'm finding it. You too. Hey, hey! What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you hear the word curry? What are you saying? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Bastard! Hey, where the hell is Monokuma? Get out of here! Thank you for waiting. Okie dokie, thanks for waiting. Thanks for the miracle of waiting. Alright! Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. What are you gonna do? No need to rush. No need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my specially made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What? It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Hey. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. <laughs> No worries. It takes skill to make curry nasty. Good instincts. That is truly a nice line. But it is meaningless. You fiend. Now, Monokuma, let us hear what your business is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare. Understand? Go, my four dark devas of destruction. If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Wah wah? Huh? Huh? You haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summoned you guys, if you look closely at this part, you should be able to notice. Huh? What is this, an arcade now? Fuck it, what you got going on, bro? What is this? Uh, isn't this an arcade machine? Correct! <laughs> That's correct! Thank you for waiting. So, I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin. Don't tell me. You're gonna tell us to play this game. <laughs> What's this game? What games are on this? Sh she's totally into it. She's breathing really fast. Hmm. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. <laughs> okay, bro. After all, it's a game that I personally created. Huh? You did. Then? Then, it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. 
What the heck? No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. Ching! You know that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. F famous game? I shall now present. Now then, I shall present. Ta-da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What the heck? That's pretty lame. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. I don't play games about riddle-solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Hiyoko, shut your ass up, please. Stupid! Don't say such silly things. What if we get weighed down by all the quarters? I know Monokuma didn't just wake us all up out of bed so we could, we could try out his new arcade system. Bro, we don't even make money out here, bro. How are we supposed to put 25 cents in your machine, bro? What is your, what is your shit called? What is your shit called? Twilight Syndrome. That's a ripoff. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. Meaningless. I have no interest in weak things like video games. Hold up, bro. Watch your mouth, bro. And... I don't even know what generation the game that old is. You. With your face, I find that hard to believe. Boring. Damn. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? This is kind of so, this adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. No, no. You know, like budgetary reasons. Oh. And and I was a big fan of the series. Oh, sorry. I don't know why, but I feel like you've totally tainted the series. What are you saying? Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I've cast a spotlight on a... Excuse me. On a neglected title! And what's the point of this game, dude? Hmm? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? Well done! <laughs> You certainly noticed the good part. That's right! This game is gonna be your next motive. The motive you need to kill people! After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next Blacken doesn't show up soon. I hate to say I agree, but f you know? Could it be? This game is the motive? Actually... In truth. This game's theme is the missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? Kind of like a hidden connection. Um... What, what does that mean? There! If you're interested, then try playing it. <gasps> uh, okay. Hey! You can't. You gotta say no, it's a trap! Hey. Hey, if that's the motive, wouldn't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> That's absolutely right! You're quite the genius! Wah -wah? I see. That never occurred to me. Are you sure about this? Hey, um... Learning the motive means you're gonna be prepared, you know. Humans who are prepared, and humans who aren't, I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? You. What, what do you mean? <laughs> For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. Watch out! In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. Hey, hey! What, what do you What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are all enemies, you know. Is it really all right for your enemy to have an advantage? This dude Monokuma has the most, like, baited, baiting way of life, bro. Like, leave us alone. We was all just chilling, having a good day at the beach, bro. And now you coming up with this braggy ass, uh, what system is that even? Uh, uh, what's that one console that nobody played? Neo, Neo Gen or something like that? Neo Gen X? F*** out of here. If you're gonna just ignore it, then do whatever you like. Even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye bye. Watch, we're all gonna agree not to play it. Somebody gonna play it. Whoa, what the heck? This is bad. Hey, what should we do? But even if you ask me, 
There's no way I'll know. Anyway. Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There's no mistaking that. You are right. You, you are right. It may be better if we wait and see how this plays out. But... But wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever gets the motive would become the hunter, and the rest of us would be the prey. Th that's a messed up way to think about it. What are you saying? But it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to kill it. I mean, if we want to win. All we need to do is what to what? Wait, what? I don't want to end up like Kuyo or Teru Teru. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched him turn and walk away. But... But, but Fuyuhiko makes a good point. She's ready to kill. Honestly, she's been kind of siding with insanity for a while, bro. When Nagito got locked up off off uh what they off early just this episode, she was like, Well guys, maybe you know that's not the right thing to do. Now she's like, Well, you know, he's making a good point. Even during the trial, she was like, Well, you know, maybe there's missing information. It's like, what do you like sp speak loudly so we can figure out your true identity? Huh? You look like genocide jack here anyway. You too? What are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... It's not like that! I mean, how can you be cautious if, if you don't even know the motive? Hmm... That... That might be true, but... She gonna play it. Nope. It doesn't matter. Huh? Motive or otherwise? It doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I will never, I'll never allow it. Ever let another killing happen. That game called Forbidden Urban Legend. That's a game right there that I guarantee y'all would be spamming my comments up talking about. Breezy, can you play Forbidden Urban Legend, please? Don't mind the fact that it's forbidden and an urban legend that somebody can come up in your house and rob you and kill you in the middle. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now. Please return to your rooms and relax. Now All then, right, bro. Sweet. All right, bro. Shut your ass up, bro. Done with you, bro. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But. But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um... M me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burdened by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never, ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... Okay, wipe that. Sleepy. Uh, I feel sleepy. I should go back too. I can't read her at all. Then you go right back to your own room, all that happy music stopped, and you right back in your head like, I wanna play. A motive to kill someone, huh? Is doing nothing at all correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger correct? There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. is troubling you don't know how tough it is to be successful i'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything <laughs> oh, bro. the biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes facts those always hold me back all the time 
I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. That's all from Monokuma Theater. Man, being successful is tough. A f of Monokuma, bro. Uh, that kind of. Oh, what's up with my camera? How long was it like that, y'all? Bro, y'all gotta say something when my camera start going crazy, bro. Good. We have a special announcement from. Ahem. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Whatever. Well, then, let's show. Shut up. What are you even drinking? You got like, you got alcohol here? I should go to the restaurant for now. As if by habit, I left my cottage and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Please be neg- okay. Huh? Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's you, Fuyu Hugo. <laughs> How unlucky I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard! Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to do with you! Hey, didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What? What, what, what? what do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hands? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? You shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? I, I'm not trying to question you, dude. I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact I acted on my own? Without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagito? Yo, seriously, I didn't mean... Dumbass! Don't talk to me ever again! If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you! That guy... He's gonna be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know. But I should be more careful not to make too much trouble. What the fuck are you talking about? He's making trouble, bro. You're trying to squash it. You're trying to solve it. Yeah, you need to get close with Gundam Tanaka, bro. At least he this got a squad already. Must be the will of causality. What? The wind is very quiet. I do hope it is not an ominous portent. What? Why did they let him get away with that one-liner without a without a Hajime response, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, did you play the game last night too, bro? Well, apparently Mikan has never played video games before. She's totally missing out on 90% of her life. Well, you know, values vary from person to person. Back. Hajime! Please listen to me! What? Chiaki taught me how to play a video game. She was so nice and attentive. And and she even battled against me. <laughs> I am so, so, so happy. I was able to play with a friend. <laughs> thank you very much, Chiaki. You think so? You don't have to thank me that much. I had a lot of fun too. Hey, hey. If you like. Do you want to battle one more time? <laughs> yes! Yes, please! Makan looks extremely happy. I guess Chiaki has a sweet side, too. Oh, that's just beautiful. You know, just girl, girls bonding. Cheetah power. You know what it is. I mean... Man, Cheetah Girls used to have a fire-ass theme song, bro. Uh, nice timing! Now, I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey! Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Uh, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Y'all left him tied up all day long yesterday. No food, no water, no bathroom breaks. He's ready to... He, he got his own motive, you know what I mean? Like... 
like <laughs> why do I say like that like how long are they planning to continue this well there's no way we can keep him tied up forever oh yeah that's what I thought at first but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever mm, what does that mean I actually went to go see Nagito earlier I kindly brought him breakfast Jeez. and then listen to this he seriously pisses me off do you understand he said he doesn't like rice so he wanted toast instead doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now so that's why you're running back and forth that must be hard for you really hard do you really think so hey hey then bring this to Nagito on my behalf Huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. And not only that, I just remembered that I have a little business to take care of. She's gonna go play that game. Bro, that's the thing about these people, bro. Every time that they try and, and like commit to a rule that we all have to follow, one person breaks it, then they all just break the shit. I'm like, bro, business. Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahiru pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Nobody else is up here? No, that's fine, because I'm ready to go see him anyway. Why'd you run over here? What are you doing out here now? Hey, hey. What are you doing? You kind of forced this on me, you know. Hey! Don't say I forced you. You're the one who agreed to do it, right? Jeez! Anyway, I have some things to do, too. But Hiyoko said... Jeez! Hajime! You're in the way! My hero and I are gonna go to the supermarket right now. <laughs> We're gonna go get candy for each other, right? Hiyoko, love her some Shihiro, uh, my hero. I know. I know, but don't cling to me like that. It's hard to walk, okay? Hey, hey! Then can we still hold hands? <laughs> 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 yep, of course. Hey. But I really can't spend too much time with you, okay? I have some things I need to take care of. Aww. Aww, so boring. Then let's ditch Hajime already and go. Thank you. Well then, Hajime, I'll leave it to you. Yoko is totally attached to my hero. They kind of look like sisters. I was thinking mother-daughter, but it's all good. What do you want, bro? Ah, man, it's so unlike me to sleep in. Huh? Oh, what's with that tray? Are you going to eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, don't tell me. Hey! You're not going to have a picnic lunch with Miss Sonya, are you? She didn't even look good to me, bro. It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Well... Uh, oh, I see. I'm sorry to trouble we, trouble you with taking care of him. If you really mean that, you want to switch with me? Hmm. Well, that's obviously a little... awkward. <laughs> uh, I'll let you handle it, Haji Young. Bye! He... he totally ran away. Alright, alright, my turn, bro. Let's, uh, let's see how Nagi's doing, bro. I guarantee you he's gonna be so you happy. Can't. Man, what the fuck? Uh, I hate you. Uh, I don't even remember what she looked like before this transformation, bro. No, no, no. This old building is being renovated. You can't go inside. If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Oh, uh, uh, you know about it too, Hajime? Um, because Nekumaro and Kazuchi earnestly told me that Minomi's the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? S starve? Whoa, 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 whoa! So it's okay to go inside then? Ta -da! Yes! Make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. <laughs> Pause, bro. Alright. Let me in, bro. So, Nagito's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I go up my back dry. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously open the door to the dining hall. 
As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. I knew he was going to be happy about it. He proud that we finally took action. Oh my god, oh, Jimmy. Look at bro. Look at him. Look at him. What the fuck are you so happy about? Like, stop it. Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, here. I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality. But feel free to relax. Here, bro. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his every every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion. But one I couldn't help feeling at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kinda scary. I didn't come here to talk to you. I just came to bring you some food. Here, bro. So come on, eat it. Oh, uh, you're not going to feed me. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. Drink some water, bro. Here, bro. Don't forget the sides, bro. Hey, bro, don't forget the sides, bro. Anyway, don't forget the sides, what happened bro. to my hero? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? my controller, bro. Huh? Why do you know that? Whoa! What are we talking about right now? What are we talking about? By the way, I heard about... Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really liked that game a lot. D don't change the subject! I'm asking you... Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Don't use my phrase, bro. Don't use my phrase, bro. Well, that is... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. Don't preach to me, bro. Do not preach to me, bro. Do not do that, bro. At all, bro. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't the solution. I'm just putting it off. Damn, message. I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Yeah, bro, one second, bro. Okay, bro, you forgot your dinner, bro. Hey, Hajime! Ah. He threw it back. I'm not even finna say that, bro, because y'all gonna clip that and... <laughs> I know I know how y'all get, bro. Stop it, bro. Should I had it on auto mode, but I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is. No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. They really named my pet Shatimi though. Like, come on, dude. Just cause she boo boo a lot, bro. She can't help it, bro. Talk to me, bro. I've never seen Monokuma's arcade machine before. Did he also program the hard drive? What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Absolutely. Yep. So I'm here. Yeah, sure. Let's take a break together. I spent time today relaxing with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Yep, I know exactly what to give her. I got like some tips and trips, but... There we go. Well? Hmm. How did you know I wanted that? I'm totally surprised. I, I never expected you to have such an awesome secret ability. Thanks. Thank you. You made me really happy. She's staring off into space again, as usual. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing and 
This is not what I came to talk about, bro. I came to talk about the arcade. Hmm. <laughs> when I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to. Okay. It's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. What? Um. The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> The more I think about it, the more this situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into she. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Hmm. Hmm. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game. But still. Either way... That's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. What? Yeah, what are you talking about right now, bro? It, it doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> as expected of the Ultimate Gamer, i probably just give up on a game like that. Um. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see, what is it? I won't tell you. I, I see. Then why, I hate when people do that. Don't bring some shit up just to bring it up and be like, well, you'll never know. Like, I don't care. I didn't care from the start. D does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. <laughs> Chiaki's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Yo, excellent Chiaki, great work. Hey, proud of you. Thank you for that talk. You gave me absolutely no info about Monokuma's game. But you're the ultimate gamer, right? You got all the clues, right? You got all the you got all the achievements, right? Like. Yes. I know it's still free time, bro. You like, I don't give a damn about leveling up that stupid mud in my pocket. What a waste. Who who's played it? Oh, 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 you know what? Let me let me let me go to the beach then. You think you slick trying to run off to the beach? Like, like I'm not finna just pull up on you like like a huggy diaper. Come here. Where you at? Move, move, sexy ass. Where where the bro? Why you lied? To oh sh okay, nope. Nope. There you go. Where was you going, girl? Talk to me. I'm gonna take some photos for a change of pace. Yes. Whoa, yes. You. Are you planning to follow me? Jeez. Well, I guess it's okay. Just make sure you don't get in my way. All right. I spent time with Mahiru while she silently snapped photos. It looks like Mahiru and I grew a little closer. Um, yeah, because I, I wanted to tell me, give me this 401 scoop. What, what, what could she want? I know what she want. If she wanted to go home, home, for country ass. Yeah, give her some nuts. Really? Look at her. Look at her. Huh? Can I really have this? Thank you. I actually wanted this right now. I'll gladly take it. Good. What was you out here doing? You know, I've been wondering about this for a while. My hero has been taking lots of pictures, but. I wonder if any of those pictures might contain some sort of clue. Hey, Mahiru, about the pictures you've been taking. Yeah, yeah. I don't really mind showing them to you, but I'm pretty sure you won't find much. Huh? You're wondering if they have any clues, right? Unfortunately, I don't take photos like that. Hmm, what does that mean? You'll know if you see here, here, take this. She handed me with her camera, and when I looked at the screen, I saw a 
a bunch of smiles. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? These are the kind of photos I take. I've never seen anyone smile like this before. But does she not take many pictures of boys because she doesn't let her guard down around them? Anyway, it definitely looks like everyone's having so much fun that they've forgotten the situation we're in. Jeez! Well, at least tell me how you feel about it. Oh, oh yeah. Um, it's, it's amazing. Hey! Oh, words like awesome and amazing aren't words of praise at all. They sound half-assed and insincere. I really hate when people say stuff like that. Yo, yo, get this, yo, get this feminist on my face, man. That remind, oh, that reminds me. She did get a little angry when I said that before. Maybe she's right. Maybe it's rude not to evaluate her work properly. Yo, relax, Haji. Don't be getting in your feelings because she don't like that you said they're amazing, bro. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to feel bad about myself because I saw the and I said, your photos look amazing. You're offended by that? Yo, 2019, bro. I'm telling you, bro, people are losing it, bro. We're, 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 we're drifting further and further away from sanity. I'm like, well, I can't really say it well, but it makes my heart feel warm and now you're lying now you're lying it makes my heart feel warm and you don't even talk like that haji so now you're gonna lie to appease her but when you tell her the truth she's offended by it even though you're speaking it in a very kind and honest and you must really like taking pictures you thought about it for that long and that's all you have? Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, y'all. That's basically what my mom taught me. Y your mom took photos too, huh? My mom was a pretty famous war photographer. But I... I just take lots of photos of smiling people at normal places. But... But because the theme of my work is too conventional, people don't really care to, to judge it they just say stuff like you should take more amazing pictures I I don't really know much about photography so I can't really give any good feedback but I really like photos like these how should I put it it makes me realize the importance of what's right in front of you okay Haji I'll give you that look at her like jeez that was it you made a good comment. Huh? I guess. Yo, I can show you my photos again next time. Bye bye. All right. Give, give. I don't give a fuck about. It. Yo, she don't have to open up anything else towards me. I'm gone. I'm going back to my room. It's nighttime. After parting ways with my hero, I decided to go back to my room. Neither one of y'all told me anything good about the about the arcade machine, so now I gotta play myself. <laughs> one player. Look, 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 look. Take all my money. I fuck. God damn. Sorry about that, bro. Golly, bro. It is not. Please, we know Just them. tell me good night. Just tell me good night, please. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little, just to see how it is. Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna walk there just so I can see if anybody is up out of their room at 10. So you can't be outside of your room after 10 o'clock? Okay, of course, who else was there? What are y'all all doing awake right now, bro? <laughs> She's the most reasonable. Hajime, good timing. There's something I wanted to ask you. Me, what is no. it? I wanted to hear your, I mean, a general opinion. <gasps> hmm. Is this about what we were discussing earlier? 
What were Pekko and Nakamaro talking about? Anyway. Regarding my inquiry, do Nekumaro and I really look like we're cosplaying as characters from a... Sheesh! When I walk down the street, I'm often told I look like a fighter from this game or a martial artist from that game. I can't understand what they're talking about! No matter how you look at it, I'm only a team manager. No matter how I look at it, that's clearly not true, bro. Honestly. That happens to me too. One time I was cornered by a strange group of people holding cameras. It was very annoying. So what did you do? <sighs> if you don't understand polite requests to stop, it's not my fault if I'm forced to get a little violent. I, I think it's better if I don't know the details. <gasps> But Pekko, we must confirm it with Hajime. No matter how many others view us, no matter how others view us, we are ourselves. There is nothing to worry about. I apologize. You're right. I agree. I apologize, Hajime. Just forget about now it. Now that you mention it. So anyway, why are you here? What are you doing out so late? Well, I couldn't really go to sleep, so I was just thinking about going for a little walk. I see. I see. Be careful then. It doesn't mean anything is going to happen, but you should be careful. Just in case. So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. So I should... just go for it. I guess for now, I should try playing it a little. Y'all ready? Uh, I am. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game and the screen automatically lit up. As I faced the screen, I put my... Come on, bro. All right. You put your hand on the joy cough. Joy coughed. This game is a work of nonfiction. Any resemblance to real persons? This game has a strange, old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? This is a puppet combo game. Oh well, I should try to start it up. It'll start if I press the enter key, right? Press the enter key with your own hands. Twilight Syndrome murder case. What the? Girl A. It's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Y'all know how bad I want to turn this off and say wait for next time? Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What are you doing? I I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Um... Don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to Girl B for now. Hey, Girl B. Oh. Oh. Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Y yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke, Girl A. It's in today's evening newspaper. This one here. Here you go. Just read it. July 8th. At around 6 a.m., a janitor from Double X Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say the investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. They are murderers. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they may be thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen too. Who was girl C? That sick, twisted bastard. 
sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Yeah, we're all in danger too. Okay, maybe maybe they aren't the killers. But, but is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. But still... I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't that right, Girl D? Y yeah, I, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. Uh um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl, girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? Come here, girl D. Talk to me, girl. Okay, talk to her then. To be honest, I, I, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Okay. All right. So just like that. Shiharu is right on the chopping block. You got that big ass camera walking around taking pictures of people without their without their consent. Okay, she is asking for consent, but not at the appropriate time. She bamboos me into taking the ugly picture, so I know she got dumb photos on that camera. We need to we need to go through it. Are, are, are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Where are those photos now? I, I have them. Right here. What? I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. C cursed? Stupid. Curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Uh, hey. This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse. I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Oh, okay. Hey, Girl E, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? N never mind. Let's just forget about this whole incident. We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body, okay? The end! Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Bro, what is this, corpse party, bro? Oh my gosh. Man, oh man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time that incident occurred too. Ah, jeez. Why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget! Who, who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget, I won't let you forget! For, for, forgive me! Forgive me! Never, 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 ne <laughs> Woo! Ah, girl A. What what happened? Did something happen? Th th this is bad. This is really bad. <clears throat> I can't do that right now. Her head is split open like that one time. It it's it's probably the curse. It's so what do y'all got going right now? This is human centipede? You better not you better not bend down in the back, bro. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there, classroom 1B. Mm. 
Now we're in bed. Get it out. All right. That's for one B. But y'all, y'all came running down the other direction. I just came. I came from this area. Why are Why are y'all acting like? Did a real girl take that picture? Game over. Down five. Is that a bad ending in Monokuma game, bro? <clears throat> huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why weren't the first and third days? Why were the first and third days skipped? And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five? Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For, for now, it's a waste of time to just stay here. So I should just go back to my cottage and think about it. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. And as I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Every time I get to a Monokuma theater, every second time I get to a Monokuma theater, I'm gonna end the episode. Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly, an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? <laughs> no! Why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman! A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. And what awaited me was another important question, the important question that Western Silent... I was definitely born in Japan. Oh my gosh, bro. Brought to you by... Nope. Let me just see if it's wake up or a dead body. Ahem. Good. Now then. Morning, huh? In the end, the game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. Let's just head over to the restaurant. All right. Well, so we'll we'll, we'll tell people that we played the game when we come back next episode. All right, well, I think it's obvious who everybody's suspecting off of that. Photos, hiding crimes, uh, a curse, and trying to frame it on someone else. Those are the four things that I'm taking away from that game, right? So the first one photo, we got Ch Chihiro, you know, the country girl, right? Then we got, what was my next clue? Okay, I forgot my clues. Y'all can rewind them. I got Shahiro with the camera. I got Makan trying to cover up a story. I got, uh, 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 uh. I got them too for also framing it on someone else. That can kind of go on Fuyihiko. And then a curse, meaning someone doesn't deserve it? I don't know. Maybe video game girl. Those are the four that I'm suspecting going into this next episode to do something foul. But other than that, I don't see anybody else with really a motive to, to do it. If I ever get a chance to do a free time again, I'm, I'm going with Gundam. That's my boy from now on. But yo, until next time, so we can let people know what happened. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you are enjoying this series and want to see it continued. Uh, subscribe if you are new and turn on that post notification bell so you know when I'm posting and going live I'm actually gonna start going live a lot more. I'm waiting on a few things to get my twitch set up um, Get it nice and proper over there. So before I start doing live streams over there I'll still be over here turn on that bell love each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next video
peace. I I'm not suspicious. He just body slammed. I think I body slammed him. Yeah, yeah. 